for the, um, what do they call it, cyclone separator, I think they call it. Which is a low pressure side with the, um, the safety valve and the first stage bleed off. Well, that burst, has it got burst disc? Um, no, the burst, burst disc is there, not on that side. That one. Okay. There's actually a, a check valve in there, on that side. And there, it's like a little. Um, Bit of plunger with a spring mm. that obviously allows the air to. Um, which way does it come from? It comes from out of there. That's right. It it allows it to come out and then the pressure shuts it again to go up to the second stage. Mm. Right. Close to that. Basically, I think what these compressors are, if you look at a lot of small single phase shock compressors, that is the same in the motor, and so is the barrel, and they've just like put on a high pressure head with a with a, obviously a high pressure piston. So it'd be quite interesting to find a a better quality one of these with a better motor and put the top on it. Same with the V-twin ones, I've seen them on there as well, they look the same. Might try and do something better about that, that first stage air intake as well because it's not really up to much I shouldn't think. <clears throat> Another thing that makes me think this is a, an improvement on a shock compressor as well is that where they've sawn that off because that's, that's where that would have been originally, that would have been screwed into that mm. and they've like cut that off because obviously it wouldn't fit on with that. And now, which isn't too good, they just sort of like stick it there with a, a blooming cable tie over it, which is, you know, might try and think of something better than that. Let's just concentrate on getting this thing working first, hopefully. Right. On with the pipes. Goes now. Goes into there, that's right. I'll say that's a check valve, that one in there. Or a non-return valve. For the first stage. Did you put PTFE on these? No, it's got a it's got like an olive fitting on it. So you don't need to. Yeah. Well, hopefully not. Fitting, it won't it just won't come out. I don't know why. It must be like bird over on the end inside it. Mm. Just 
turns around easy on one bit and then tightens up, so. So it's a bit of a, a pain to get this one in without buggering the thread up, which I certainly don't want to do. All that's in there on the top of the, um, the second stage piston is just like a little, like a little flap valve, like a tiny. I suppose it must be really thin spring, sprung steel, which is obviously the one-way valve. There's nothing to it. It's pretty, pretty basic. Probably is when these pipes are under tension, you've got to be blooming careful you don't cross thread it. I need my other spoon for that because I don't want to over tighten that into that. Put it back in there. 